Hi, I'm Joel Goodman, and this is a help video for a toy. And thank you very much to Dan who commissioned this video. So, let's get looking at it. As I place my microphone here, I'm looking at the score, and I can see it is in 3 4. I'll say that again in case it was rustling. It is in 3 4. Three beats in a bar. So, Let's look at the right hand. Oh, also, I've noticed that there's an F sharp in the key signature. So when we get to any Fs, we have to be careful. Okay, so five on D to start. And it's a five note scale coming down. Coffee, coffee, tea. And back to the D. Okay, coffee, coffee, tea. Hold, hold. The note you are on changes to finger two. Okay, now. D, E, G, F sharp, G, D. So what I like to do when uh, there is a change of position is circle the note. I'll just show you. So I circle the note just so that I, I pay extra attention to it when I get there. So let's try again. Coffee, coffee, tea, milk, tea, tea, tea. F sharp. Now, if you find yourself forgetting it or you need to just remind yourself, put a sharp sign before the note and also write a finger four above it, okay? So, let's play line one with the right hand. Coffee, coffee, tea, milk, tea, 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 milk. Left hand, it's in the treble clef, so it's pretty high. Um, so we start off on a B, a B above middle C. So it's, it's quite high, it's up here, okay? Um, so we get T, 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 hold, uh, hold, okay? We don't need to move for that first section. And then we do need to move the thumb down to D for a, a five note scale. Notice how both those little phrases in the left hand are five finger position, all under the hand, okay? See, so it's all under the hand. Coffee, coffee, tea. Let's put it together. So five on D, and the three will come here. So we have to just let that hand rest out of the way for a moment. Coffee, coffee, tea, hold. Now, that's when you get your hands together positioning sorted, okay? You can't have your left hand ready. You need to wait. I've gone wrong. Let's do that again. So it's two and three. Then two and three the other way round. Five and three. Four and four. I'm going to circle that. And five and five, aha. Uh -huh. So there's some symmetry here. I love symmetry in music. It, once you spot that, it makes it so much easier to play when you know, oh, both finger fours, both finger fives. Let me show you what I've drawn. So make sure you're clear in the score that it is symmetrical fingers on that section. Let's do it again. Hold, and now G and B. Now the fours together, and the fives together. Okay, let's see if I can play that again. It's, I'm not playing it very musically yet, so I need to improve my musicality here. One, two. Tricky. There's something. It doesn't feel very natural. This bar. Ah, now here's another little pattern. Um, it's just sometimes when we look at music, we don't see this straight away. But the left hand's going two, three, four, five. I'll play it, then I'll show you. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to play line one, hands together, one final time. Still not very mute. This bit's funny. It's it's 
yeah, you, to get this to sound really good, you've got to get the articulation, which I don't normally do in my videos. Articulation is the smooth or staccato playing. So, but I do. You need to articulate this, or it doesn't sound musical. So there. Smooth, smooth, s just detach, detach the right hand only. Let's carry on. We'll go with the left hand next because it, it's the it's the next one to play. So where you are, one on D. I'm going to write the finger numbers in here just because I feel that when we come to play it hands together, it may help me. Two, three, four, five. I'll show you where I've written that. I think it's just going to help us when we come to play hands together. Hold. And then we go up to G, above middle C, and a five note scale descending. You'll notice that it's F natural and there's a natural sign printed in the book. So the right hand now on bar six, two on D. Now that's an echo from what we had in line one, but just now down lower. Up to D, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch, keep the thumb where it is so you know where you are on the piano, to B and D, and then three and five. Okay, let's have a look at putting that section together. So one on D to start. Again, the right hand just has to be patient because it should be on the same note in a moment. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, it's just, it is literally just a repeat of what we had up here. So if you've learned that bit, this is the same. Okay, the, the, so you've got one bar hand on its own, right hand. Stretch, use the thumb to keep your position and it just stretches up one. Keep the weight there so you're ready. We're now on line three, right hand on A. That was all under the hand. Up to a high A. So many of my pupils, even up to about grade three or four, confuse this note with middle C. But I'm going to show you uh, where we are and write in A. It's a high A, it's nowhere near middle C. It's all the way up here. And don't forget your F sharp. Then the left hand echoes it. Now the right hand does another five note scale starting on D. Lots of scales there. Okay, but the first part of the bar, A, D, C sharp, one and four, one and four, okay. Um, left hand. D and F sharp. So we've just come down from this scale. Coffee, coffee, T, D and F sharp. We move A and E. Use the thumb to maintain your position and have two and four go either side of it on a D and an F sharp. Okay, so here's the beginning of that line. Uh, so we've just played the scale. Two and four, move. That technique of using the thumb is so important to know where you are, just pivot over the thumb. And we've already covered that echo. So here's line three hands together. Now I didn't do the correct fingers there. I actually prefer, so. No, wait one second. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. Let's just practice it a bit. Now, my, my instinct's to use one and two. I'm actually gonna change the fingers in the book here, uh, and I'll show you why. It's just what my hands instinctively want to do. I'll show you where the fingers are. Now, if you've already learned two and four and you're comfortable with it, 
keep it the same. If you've not learnt it, try my version and try the book's version. See which you prefer. So we're talking about the beginning of line three. One, two, three. I just prefer that movement. For me, there's less movement than that. And because my hand instinctively wants to do that and then I try the book one, that's when a mistake happens and I just played it wrong. So let's go again. Okay, so you can see I'm using one and two there. You decide if you use one or two, one and two, or two and four. Make a decision and always keep it the same after. Now, last line, right hand. Now here, so. Wow, it's a bit fiddly, the ending. It's a little bit fiddly, this last line. So we get one, two, three, two and five. So there was a change of position there. Let's do it again. One, two, three, down one. Timing here, one, two and three. One, two and three. Use the thumb to pivot. One, two, three. Okay, the shapes there, three and five. One and four sharp okay quite technical there left hand on G coffee coffee tea two and four bass clef now this sort of thing will catch a lot of beginners out it looks like the, oh, I'm gonna speak on the other camera actually it looks like uh, here it looks like the music's going up but it definitely isn't there's a bass clef sign here uh, actually the music's going down G it's going down to G below middle C. Okay, so let's watch out for that and see what happens. So we go from the, from the G up to a D. Five finger position, all under the fingers. All the notes are under the fingers. One, two, and three. We go down to D. One, two, three, and just the thumb moves, G and B. Let's have a look at it hands together. Coffee, coffee, tea. One, two, and three. That bar's tricky. Look, you have to move. One, two, and down to G. One, two, and three. One, two, three, one. That is a really challenging last line for a grade one piece. Let's look at it again. Coffee, coffee, tea. That's nice. Now, move down one in the right. Move down to G. Pivot on the thumb. One. Down to D. So that's a, a quick uh, tutorial on um, a toy. Uh, not my kind of toy, I have to say. That's quite a tricky piece. It's like one of those toys you get out of the box and it doesn't work. Uh, so I hope you can use those uh, suggestions I've given you for the fingers and for the rhythm to uh, make it way better than I played it. As always, um, check out other channels' performance videos. I don't do the performance videos because there are three-year-olds who can play some of these pieces better than me. Uh, so I just like to give finger suggestions and rhythmic um, advice. Anyhow, best of luck with your piano practice and see you in the next video.